Polarization just keeps getting worse in Washington. Many veterans of the Capitol's political wars say it's as bad as they've ever seen it, and it seems to be making Americans very upset. The latest case in point has been the piling on over remarks made by two of Washington's more gaffe-prone leaders, Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid and Michael Steele, Chairman of the Republican National Committee. In each case, their comments were offensive to some and just plain stupid to most. A new book quotes Reid as saying in 2008 that Barack Obama could catch on as a presidential candidate because he was light-skinned and because he avoided using a Negro dialect. As for Steele, he was out promoting his new book and gushed about the Republican platform. He ended the interview by saying, honest engine on that, angering Native Americans. The point is that rather than make their critical points and move on, or forgive Reed and Steele for their trespasses, the critics are going overboard in an effort to gain political advantage. All this, of course, is being fed by the media commentators. Chris Matthews, Keith Oberman, Ed Schultz, and Rachel Maddow on the left and Bill O'Reilly, Sean Hannity, and of course Rush Limbaugh and other radio personalities on the right. So far, the cycle of attack and counterattack shows no sign of letting up. But how does the American public feel about all this division? Well, it seems that the anger of the Tea Party protests last summer over the future of health care is spreading. In fact, some legislators and staff members returning to Washington after the holiday break say many of their constituents are angry and upset because they think the country is headed in the wrong direction. All this bile has a large impact in Washington, and if there's not some spirit of comedy and compromise, the Capitol will descend very soon into the kind of prolonged stalemate that the American people find abhorrent. For U.S. News & World Report, I'm Ken Walsh.